Mm, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to John chapter 14. Vamos a leer Juan 14. And uh, I want to, we want to teach and, and preach for the next little bit on this subject, asking the rule of the kingdom. Queremos enseñar y predicar en este tema el pedir la regla del reino. I have found over the years in pastoring He descubrido en los años como un pastor that people are not usually off in a large way. Que la gente usualmente no están en error en una manera muy grande. If they're struggling, it's usually just, it's something small. Usualmente su problema es algo pequeño. But here's the issue. Pero aquí es el problema. If... If you're flying an airplane, si usted está uh, <laughs> volando un, un avion, avion, and you start at one heading, y usted está en un, um, dirección, you have to keep checking if you're still on that direction. Usted tiene que um, Checar, asegurar que usted está en la dirección correcta. Because you have wind trying to blow you off your direction. Porque hay viento que está tratando de cambiar su dirección. And you have to be making adjustments. Y usted tiene que um, uh, hacer los ajustes. Have, have you ever closed your eyes? Ha usted... Uh, uh, ha cerrado sus ojos and tried to walk a straight line y tratar de um, caminar en una un línea and you ended up over here y usted está en un lugar diferente felt like you were walking straight pero en su mente eh, right just something little está algo muy pequeño but you can end up a hundred miles off course Pu puedo usted pero usted puede estar en un lugar diferente. Many people Mucha gente do not receive no reciban because they won't ask. Porque ellos no, uh, no piden. See, what is written in the Word Lo que la Biblia dice is not supposed to be prayed about. No, no está... Usted no... It, I don't know the word for suppose. No se supone que... Amen. Amen. It is to be asked for... Usted tiene que pedir... And receive. Y recibir. All right. John chapter 14. Juan 14. Verse 13. 13. Er, 13. John 14, 13. Juan 14, 13. And whatever you ask in my name, notice, that will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Y todo lo que pidieron en mi nombre al Padre lo haré para que el Padre sea glorificado en el Hijo. Notice, whatever you ask, lo que pidamos, that, eso, what you ask for, lo que usted ha pedido, is what the Father will do. Es lo que el Padre va a hacer. Now this is so important. Este es muy importante. Because Jesus emphasizes what you will receive. Porque Jesús uh, tiene un énfasis sobre lo que usted va a recibir. What you ask for. Lo que usted pida. Whatever you ask. Lo que usted pida. That. Eso. Will I do. Es lo que Jesús hará. If you don't ask for that. Si usted no Pida para esto. You cannot have that. Usted no puede recibir esto. I have to ask. Tengo que pedir. Because Jesus will do what? He'll do what I ask of him. Porque Jesús va a hacer lo, uh, um, que, lo que yo pido. Amen. And I've had people say, well, the Lord knows what I need. Yo he tenido la gente uh, dijeron, or dijo, 
Pero el Señor sabe lo que, es, lo que yo necesito. He does, and he said we must ask. Sí, sí, él sabe, pero él dijo que necesitamos pedir. Remember, God said, put me in remembrance of my word. Recuerde lo que Dios dijo, póngame en recuerdo de, lo que, de mi palabra. He said, come, let, let us plead together. Él dijo, venga, vamos a... Um, Conversar juntos. Put me in remembrance of what I said. Póngame en recuerdo de lo que yo he dicho. So Jesus is very specific and he states that we, he will do what we ask. Entonces Jesús es muy específico cuando él declaró que lo, él va a hacer lo que nosotros pidamos. Amen. Amen. It's not a giving problem. No es un problema en, en su habilidad de dar. It's an asking problem. Es un problema en el pedir. Is there anything God cannot do? Es algo que Dios no puede hacer? No, nothing. No, no. Now we know that. Sab no, nosotros sabemos esto. Then why is it that many people's asking is so small? Entonces, ¿por qué es que la, el pedir de mucha gente es muy pequeño? Because he said, whatever you ask, Porque él dijo que cualquier cosa que usted pida, that eso is what I'll do. Es lo que va a hacer. Amen. Amen. A large part of answered prayer is asking. Una parte grande de las oraciones contestadas es el pedir. See, remember, and, and, and uh, Remember something about prayer. Recuerde algo de la oración. The purpose of prayer is to get the attention of God. El propósito de la oración es tener la atención de Dios. Conversation with God. Una conversación con Dios. Amen. Amen. Part of conversation involves asking. Una parte de conversación es el pedir. Amen. Amen. How that you can sit at a restaurant And they can come for your order and you can sit there and not eat if you won't ask. Usted puede estar en una, un restaurante y ellos uh, um, pueden ve, uh, uh, ver, uh, ellos pueden estar uh, listo para recibir su orden, pero usted no va a recibir sin el pedir. Amen. Even though you have the menu. Aunque usted tiene el men menu. And you see what's on it. Y usted puede ver lo que está. You have to ask. Usted tiene que pedir. Amen. Amen. Do you see this? Puede usted es ver esto. One day I was praying. Un día yo a estaba orando. About a situation. Sobre una situación. And the Lord said to me. El Señor me dijo. Philip, what do you want in this situation? Felipe, ¿qué quiere usted en esta situación? Because I said I would do what you ask. Porque yo dijo que yo haría lo que usted pida. See, once your life. Entonces, mira, cuando su vida. Is proven before God. Está um, dando el pr uh, prueba he antes de Dios. He'll ask you what you want. Él va a pedir. A usted lo que usted quiere. Because my life's right. Porque mi vida está en línea con su voluntad. I would do, he said, I would do what you ask. Él dijo, yo haría lo que usted pida. So, have you asked? Entonces, ha usted pedido. Amen. Amen. I'll say it again. Have you asked? Ha pedido a usted. Because if you've asked, porque si usted ha pedido, that is what he's going to do. Eso es lo que él va a hacer. Look at verse 14. Versículo 14. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Si algo piden en mi nombre, yo lo haré. One translation says, yes, I will grant. Una traducción dice, sí, uh, voy a um, conceder. I myself will do it for you. Yo mi mismo haré para usted. Whatever you ask in my cualquier name. Cosa que usted pida en mi nombre. Notice the words, anything. Note las palabras, cualquiera. Whatever. Alguna cosa. Watch. That you ask for. Que usted me pida. Wow. Wow. 
How big is that? Aleluya. Cuán grande es esto? Anything. Cualquiera. Whatever. Alguna cosa. Watch. You ask for. Que usted me pida. Do you see that? Mira esto. And people say, Pastor, why do I have to ask? Y la gente dijo, pero Pastor, ¿por qué yo tengo que pedir? Because asking is the rule of the kingdom. Porque el pedir es la regla del reino. Amen. Amen. That's why I have to ask. Esto es porque yo tengo que pedir. L Notice Matthew 21. Note Mateo 21. And we'll look at verse 22. Vamos a enfocar en 22. Matthew 21. Mateo 21. And verse 22. Versículo 22. Hallelujah. 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 You all are always hungry for the word. Ustedes siempre están hambre para la palabra. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 22. And all things, whatever you ask in prayer, believing, you shall receive. Y todo lo que pidan en oración, creyendo, lo recibirán. Notice. Note. If you ask. Si usted pida. You believe. Usted cree. And if you believe. Y si usted cree. You'll ask. Usted va a pedir. Notice what he said. Note lo que él dijo. All things that you ask in prayer, believing, you shall receive. Todo lo que piden en oración, creyendo, lo recibirán. Very often the emphasis there is placed on believing. Muchas veces el énfasis está pon, poniendo en el creer. And we have to emphasize believing. Y necesitamos em, uh, tener una, un énfasis en el creer. But there's something that came first. Pero hay algo que viene primeramente. Ask. El pedir. For what you believe. Pida para lo que usted cree. It's not enough just to believe. No es suficiente solamente creer. I have to ask. Yo tengo que pedir. What he said, he did, notice what he didn't say. Note he, lo que él no dije. He did not no say, dijo. you'll get whatever you believe. Él no dijo que usted va a recibir lo que usted cree. He said, you'll get what you ask for. Él dijo que usted va a recibir lo que usted pida. Do you see that? Mira esto. Because there are people that will say, well, I believe, I'm believing. Porque mucha gente dije, dice, pero yo creo, yo creo. Why estoy aren't creyendo, they receiving? Pero, ¿por qué no estoy cre uh, recibiendo? Maybe they didn't ask. Posiblemente ellos no ha pedido. Amen. Amen. But I did ask. Pero yo, yo sí, yo Then we have to examine your believing. Pero tenemos que enfocar en el creer. But you don't get what you believe for, you get what you ask for. Pero usted no solamente recibir lo que usted cree, usted va a recibir lo que usted pida. You, you understand what I'm saying? Me entiende? It's not enough just to say I believe it. No es suficiente decir yo creo. I have to ask for it. Tengo que pedir. Amen. Amen. What you refuse to ask for, you don't really believe you're going to receive. Lo que usted rehúsa pedir, usted no realmente cree que va a recibir. Amen. Because asking is essential in believing. Porque el pedir es esencial en el creer. Amen. Amen. Often, and I said this earlier, the emphasis is placed on believing. Frecuentemente el énfasis está puesto en el creer. But believing begins with asking. Pero el creer empieza con el pedir. If, if you believe I will give you something, si usted cree que yo voy a darle, you're going to come ask for it. Usted va a pedirme. Asking is proof of your believing. El pedir es la evidencia del creer. Hallelujah. Creer. Amen. Believing begins with asking what you don't ask for, you can't expect to receive. Lo que usted no pida, usted no puede esperar recibir. And we'll, we'll look at this some more in the Word. Vamos a enfocar en este, en la palabra. Amen. I learned a long time ago, if I'll ask, I'll get. Yo he aprendido um, 
muchos años atrás que, o hace muchos años que lo que yo pido voy a recibir. Lista más <laughs> subjetivo. <laughs> Amén. Aleluya. Years ago. Años, hace muchos años. We had uh, Brother Charles Capps at the Kansas location. Nosotros teníamos hermano Charles Capps in la locación, la iglesia en, in Kansas. And when we started pastoring our church. Y cuando nosotros uh, uh, empezamos uh, empezábamos pastoreando nuestra iglesia. I made a decision. I wanted the best faith preachers to come to our church. Yo hice una decisión que yo que uh, yo necesita tener uh, lo, uh, la, los maestros mejores en nuestra and, iglesia. And, and we have, and, and we still are. I mean, Brother K Charles Caps. Hermano Charles Capps, Mark Hankins, Mark Hankins, Jerry Savelle, Jerry Savelle, Dr. Dufresne, Dr. Dufresne. I mean, Happy Caldwell, Happy Pastor Caldwell, <laughs> Pat Harrison. Pat Harrison. I mean, uh, but the point that I'm making is I was talking to a friend of mine. El punto es yo es, uh, estaba hablando con un amigo. He kept asking me, "How did you get all these people to come to your church?" El dijo, "Cómo." Uh, uh, ¿cómo, um, how did you get? ¿Cómo obtiene estas personas en su iglesia? You know what I said? ¿Sabe lo que yo dijo? Dime. I ask. <laughs> <laughs> yo pide. I ask. Yo pide. When I wrote Charles Capps the letter. Cuando yo escribí la carta a Charles Capps. He wrote me back a very nice letter and said no. Él me escribo, uh, escribo una carta muy uh, um, buena, pero él dijo no. But I knew the Lord had asked me to do that. Pero yo sabía, sepa que el Señor me ha dado eso en mi corazón. Now notice, I didn't come off of what I had asked for. Note, yo no cambié um, lo que yo he pedido. If you won't withdraw your request, si usted no cambiará su petición, you'll get what you've asked for. Usted va a recibir lo que usted ha pedido. Amen. Amen. And it was about two weeks later. Y posiblemente hace dos semanas. I got a call from his wife. Que uh, yo recibí una uh, llamada de su y, um, su um, esposa. And she said. Charles was praying. Y ella dijo, dijo que um, Charles e, uh, estaba orando. And the Lord told him to come to your church. Y el Señor dijo que él necesita estar en su iglesia. Amen. Amen. I learned a valuable lesson there. Yo aprendí una lección muy importante. What you have asked for and you're believing. Lo que usted ha pedido y usted ha creyendo. If you won't withdraw the request. Está creyendo y si usted no um, um, cambiará la petición. What you've asked for is coming. Lo que usted ha pedido. Pedido, está viniendo. Because Jesus said, whatever you ask, porque Cristo Jesús dijo, lo, cualquiera cosa que usted pida, that eso is what I'll do. Es lo que yo voy a How, he, he, right? hacer. Right? He, he didn't say if everything lines up, I'll do it. He said, I'll do it. Él no dijo que si a, cada cosa está en línea, voy a hacer. Él dijo, voy a hacer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But what you don't ask for, Pero lo que usted no pida, you can't expect to receive. Usted no puede recibir. Now, I know this is elementary. I know this is simple. Amen. Amen. And, and I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Y voy a ser muy con usted. I've, I've been told over the years. Yo he, uh, uh, he, he sido dicho sobre Los años. You know what you preach lo que, lo que usted predica is really simple. Es muy sencillo. Yeah, I know. Yo sé. That's why that guy that's saying that is not getting it. Pero la persona que está diciendo no está recibiendo. Because Jesus said he's hid it from the foolish. <laughs> Porque Cristo Jesús dijo que es uh, obscuro para um, los tontos. Amen. Amen. But if you'll ask, Pero si usted pida, 
Asking is the rule of the kingdom. El pedir es la regla del reino. Remember Jesus said, Recuerde lo que Jesus, Jesus dijo, If your son asks a fish, Si su hijo pida, uh, pide un, una pesco, Will you give him a snake? Va a dar uh, el, a él un um, serpiente? If he asks for an egg, Si él pide uh, un huevo, Will you give him a, a scorpion? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Santo, <laughs> hallelujah. Scorpio. <laughs> tranquila, tranquila, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. No, he said, he Puedo said, hacer todas he las said, cosas. He, in other words, in other words, God will give us when we ask. In otras palabras, Dios uh, nos dará cuando nosotros Pidamos Good things. Buenas cosas. But it's what I ask for. Pero es lo que yo pido. Because asking is the rule of the kingdom. Porque el pedir es la regla del reino. He said in one scripture, he said, ask of me the heathen. El dijo en una escritura, um, pídeme uh, los... We can say the world. Uh, las personas del mundo. And I'll give them to you. Y voy a darle a, a ella. But you've got to ask. A, a usted. Amen. Pero usted tiene que pedir. Look at 1 John 3. <laughs> Vamos a leer Primera Juan 3. 1 John 3. Primera carta de Juan 3. Oh, this is good. Ah, uh, es una enseñanza buena. 1 John 3, verse 22. Hallelujah. 1 John 3, verse 22. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Cualquiera cosa, 1 Juan 3, 22, cualquiera cosa que pidiéramos, la recibiremos de él. Porque guardamos sus mandamientos y hacemos las cosas que son agradables delante de él. This is saying if we have confidence towards God. Es decir que si tenemos la confianza hacia Dios. We will ask. Vamos a pedir. This is why the way you live your life is so important in prayer. Este es porque la manera que usted viva su vida en oración. Importa. When I go to prayer, I have to have confidence towards God. Cuando yo vengo a la oración, yo tengo que tener confianza hacia Dios. Amen. Amen. In other words, I know there's nothing between me and God. En otras palabras, yo sé que no hay nada entre yo y Dios. And then I ask very freely. Entonces, yo puedo pedir muy um, libre. He said, whatever we ask. Él dijo cualquiera que we receive of him. Cualquiera cosa que pidiéramos, la recibiremos de él. Whatever we ask. Cualquiera cosa. We will receive. Que pidiéramos, pidiéramos, la recibiremos de él. Whatever. Cualquiera. We ask. Que pidiéramos. We. Nosotros. Receive. Recibiremos. Ask. Pide. Receive. Recibe. Amen. Receiving completes the equation of asking. El recibir completa la ecuación del pedir. Amen. Es una palabra. When you have confidence towards God, cuando usted tiene confianza hacia Dios, you know where you stand with God. Usted sabe lo que usted uh, um, Parar en pie con Dios. Asking is no problem. El pedir no es un problema. Amen. Amen. But. Pero. When condemnation is trying to live in your life. Cuando la condenación está tratando de vivir en su vida. A sense of unrighteousness. Un sentido de uh, sin, uh, in, injusticia. Amen. I got to deal with that. Yo tengo que tratar con esto. Because it affects my asking. Porque afecta mi pedir. But tonight. Pero 
esta noche, we have confidence towards God. Nosotros tenemos confianza hacia Dios. And whatever we ask, y lo que, cualquiera cosa que we're going to receive. Pidiéramos. Recibiremos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why? ¿Por qué? Because asking Por, is the rule of the kingdom. Porque el pedir es la regla del reino. Hallelujah. Amen. Now Hallelujah. look at James chapter 1. Santiago 1. James chapter 1. Santiago 1. And two verses, verse 5 and 6. Versículos 5 y 6. If any of you lack wisdom, si alguno de ustedes tiene falta de sabiduría, let him ask of God. Pídala a Dios. Let him ask of God. Pídala a Dios. Now this is something that you can put whatever word there you want if you lack prosperity. Usted puede poner una cosa, lo que usted necesita, si usted fa tiene una falta de prosperidad. If you lack Peace. Si tiene falta de paz. If you lack health. Si tiene falta de salud. Now notice. Note. It's simple. Es muy sencillo. Let him ask. Pídala. Let him ask. Deja, deja pedir. If you lack anything. Si usted tiene falta de cualquier cosa. Let him ask. Deje pedir. Uh, Deje pedir. Why do I want to ask? ¿Por qué? Because God gives to all men liberally. Porque Dios da a cada persona liberalmente. Now think about this. You're going to a God. Piensa en esto. Usted está um, um, viniendo a Dios. Who gives to everybody liberally. Un Dios que da a cada persona abundantemente. He's got whatever you need or want. Él tiene cada cosa que usted necesita o quiere. Ask. Pide. Ask. Pide. Because he said he will give. Porque dijo que él va a dar. Liberally. Abundantemente. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That, that is that overflowing giving. Este es la sobreabundancia. That's that giving where I have to say that's too much. But if I'm going to go to God. Pero si yo voy a, a ir a Dios, and I'm going to go to the God that gives to everybody liberally. Y voy a ir a, al Dios que da a cada persona abundantemente. I better be prepared to ask. Yo necesito tener la preparación pedir. Amen? Amen. Do you see that? Let's say. Vamos a decir. How are you with numbers? <laughs> Let, let, let's say that Pastor Ron here Vamos a decir que Pastor Ron is worth millions. El, <laughs> el, el, el vale millones. And he is known y él está conocido to like to bless people. Um, to um, querer bendecir la gente. He's got millions. Él tiene millones. And all you need is 5,000. Y lo que usted necesita es 5,000. And you go to him to talk to him. Y usted uh, uh, va a él para hablar con él. Pastor Ron, I'd like to take you out for coffee. Pastor, Pastor Ron, yo quiero uh, tomarle a café. And you go to the coffee place. Y usted va al uh, la, oh. You may have missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. And, and you have this need. Y usted tiene esta necesidad. And you sit there and talk for two hours. Y usted habla con dos horas. Con el, para dos horas. And never ask. Y nunca pide. pide. Right? <laughs> You know, eventually Pastor Ron's going to go, well, you know, I've got to go. Eventualmente, Pastor Ron va a decir, yo tengo que ir. There goes your answer. Y con su respuesta. That's how people do the Father. 
Esta es la manera que la gente hace con el Padre. He gives to all men liberally. Nuestro Padre da a cada persona abundantemente. And upbraideth not. Is, 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 that, is that what it says? Hallelujah. ¿Cuál es la palabra? Sin reproche. Okay. ¿Qué significa reproche en in, in inglés? Without a reproach. Without a reproach. He Sin doesn't reproche. hold it against you. Hallelujah. Do you see Sin that? Sin reproche. Amen. <laughs> he, he doesn't look at you and say, how dare you ask? Él no mira a usted y, y dice, y, how dare you, uh, ¿cómo usted puede pedirme esto? He says, oh, you have a need? Él dice, ¿usted tiene una necesidad? Ask. Pídame. Do, do you see that? Do you see the importance of this? Mira la importancia de esto. Let, let me use another example. Vamos a usar un otro ejemplo. There, there was this cooking show, and I don't, I don't watch a lot of TV, but there was this cooking show. Había un programa uh, de cocinar. And it was televisión. a contest. Y un contesta, fue una contesta. And whoever won this small part of the contest. Y la persona que um, uh, uh, gana esta parte pequeña de la contesta. There was a expert chef. <laughs> Fue un, uh, un cocinero experto. That would help them for one hour. Que puede ayudar ellos para una hora. Whatever they needed. Cual, cualquiera cosa que ellos necesitaban. They could bake the item. Ellos uh, um, podían. Uh, they could make the food for hacer them. Hacer este Cocinar experto puede um, hacer cocinar la, la she comida. She comes to this lady. La persona que gana viene a the one that the woman that won. That came. Yeah. Okay. Que gana. And she said, "How can I help you?" Okay. Y where where what do you want me to do? El cocinar viene a a las a la mujer y dijo. You know, que yo hace. you know what she said? You know what she said? You can help me measure the flour. Usted puede medir la harina. This is the expert. Este es el experto. Get me some flour. Pero usted puede traerme harina. The lady lost. La mujer perdió. People go to God. La gente viene a Dios. Who has everything they need. Quien tiene cada cosa que ellos necesitan. And they either don't ask. Y ellos no pidan. Or they ask small. Or ellos pidan muy pequeña. You don't need to ask for your light bill to be paid. Usted no necesita pedir por su um, cuenta de la luz. You need to ask for the finances to wipe out your debt. Usted necesita pedir por las finanzas para erradicar su deuda. Well, you think I'll get it? Piense que voy a recibir. Is your heart right toward God? Es su corazón. Correcto. Are you living Dios? right? ¿Está usted viviendo en línea con la palabra? He said if you ask, la he'll give. Él dijo que usted va a pedir, <sighs> él va a recibir. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Dios mío. You're preaching good. <laughs> so don't overlook the asking. Entonces, no pase por alto el pedir. Because people say, see, you got to ask in faith. Porque la gente dice, si usted tiene que pedir en fe. You, you do, but you have to ask. Sí, pero usted tiene que pedir. Being in faith means nothing if you're not going to ask. Estar en fe no, si, no importa sin uh, el pedir. Do you see that? Amen. 
Mira esto. Well, I'm in faith. I'm in faith. Pero estoy en fe, estoy en fe. Praise God. Then you're ready to ask. Gloria a Dios. Entonces usted está listo para pedir. And let me give you some advice. Y voy a darle a usted este consejo. Ask big. Pida muy grande. Ask big. Pida muy grande. Amen. Because he's not intimidated by big asking. Porque él no está intimidado por su uh, petición grande. Let me tell you what frustrates God. Yo voy a decir lo que es una frustración a Dios. When you ask small. Cuando usted pida muy pequeño. Pastor Caldwell told this story one time. Pastor Caldwell nos dijo esta historia una vez. Somebody had blessed him with a really nice car. Una persona ha dado un vehículo muy bonito. And he told the Lord, he said, Lord, I, I may go sell this car. Y el di, Pastor Caldwell dijo uh, es, uh, al Señor, uh, voy a ben, vender este vehículo. And get one para reci, para obtener algo that doesn't cost you so much. Que no cuesta a usted tanto. You know what the Lord said? El Señor dijo. He said, you're not worried about me. Usted no está preocupando sobre mí. You're worried about what people will think if they see you driving that car. Usted está preocupando sobre cualquiera cosa que la gente va a pensar sobre su. God gave him something really nice. vehículo. Dios dio a él algo muy Amen. Bueno. And he wanted to downsize. Pero él quería um, cambiar por algo menos. Do you see that? Do you Mira. lack whatever? Si tiene falta de cualquiera. Ask. Pida. And it will be given to you. Y le será dada. Faith begins with asking. La fe empiece con el pedir. So when you ask, ask in faith. Entonces cuando usted pida, pida en fe. But ask. Pero pida. Do you see this? Pida. Now, Mira esto. Matthew chapter 7. Mateo 7. Matthew 7. Mateo 7. Hallelujah. And we'll read two verses here. We'll begin in verse 7. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened. Pida, y lo será dado. Busquen, y hallarán. Hallará, llamen, y se les abrirá. Now notice. Note. Ask. Pida. Oh. And it shall be given. Y se les dará. Hmm. Very simple. Muy sencillo. Very simple. Muy simple. Ask. Pida. And it shall be given. Y se les dará. Now we're going to read the rest of this verse, but notice. Ask. Vamos a leer el resto de este verso, pero note. And it will, it will be given. Y se les dará. Now look at the first part of verse 8. Note la primera parte de versículo 8. For everyone. Porque todo. Everyone. Todo. Listen, not most people. Everyone. Escuchen, no solamente la, la mayoridad. Todo. Now here's my question. Esta es mi pregunta. Is Jesus saying this? Es, es las palabras de Jesús? Jesus is saying this. Jesús está diciendo esto. So that means this is God's will. Entonces significa que es la voluntad de Dios. For every person. Para cada persona. For all time. Por siempre. Para siempre. This doesn't change. No cambiará. So if I said everyone in this room gets a thousand dollars. Entonces si yo digo cada persona en este lugar reciba. You would come for your money. Dólares. Usted va a ir para recibir. Because you're everyone. Porque usted es 
Todo. Everyone who asks. Todo quien pide. What's, what's the key here? If you're a person who doesn't ask. ¿Cuál es la llave aquí? Everyone who asks. Si usted es una persona que no pide. Receives. Todo lo que pide va a recibir. Ask. Pida. It will be given. Y recibirá. Because everyone that asks. Porque cada persona que pide. Receives. Reciba. Wow. Wow. Alleluia. So someone will say, I'm not receiving. Entonces, una persona decía, no estoy recibiendo. Are you asking? Have you asked? Ha pedido a usted. Because the, 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 only, the, only is, the only things at issue here are this. El problema aquí es esto. Not asking. No pidiendo. And not asking in faith. Y no pida en fe. But both of those require asking. Pero los dos requieren el pedir. If you know you're in faith, ask. Si usted sabe que usted está en fe, pida. If you're not sure you're in faith, si usted no está seguro que usted que está en, en fe, get in faith. Sea en fe. And ask. Esté en fe y pida. But ask. Pero pida. Woo. Now notice, ask and it will be given. No te pida y se lo, les dará. Seek and you will find. Busquen y hallará. Knock and it will be opened to you. Llamen y se les abrirá. Wow. Do you see this? For everyone that asks, receiveth. Porque todo aquel que pide, recibe. He that seeks, finds. El que busca, haya. And to him that knocks, it will be opened. Y al que uh, llama, se le abrirá. So notice, first of all, I will receive what I ask for. Note, primeramente, voy a recibir lo que yo pido. I may have to seek it out. Yo posiblemente tendrá buscar. I may ask for a job. Posiblemente yo um, pido un trabajo. And then have to go fill out an application. Pero... Uh, yo necesito llenar las solicitudes. But I'm seeking what I've asked for. Pero estoy buscando lo que yo he pedido. I may have to knock. Yo posiblemente uh, uh, tendrá que llama, llamar. And that's simply being persistent. Y esta es um, ser persistente. That's being persistent. Es ser persistente. Staying with it. Continuar, continuando. Because he already said everyone that asks receives. Porque él ha dicho que cada persona que pida recibirá. I may have to seek it. Posiblemente tendrá que buscarla. I may have to knock. Tendrá que llamarla. But I receive. Pero yo recibo. Because I ask. Porque he pedido. Let me share this last scripture with you, this last verse. Last illustration. Déjeme compartir esta ilustración con Remember usted. Jesus said, if there was a man. Recuerde que Jesús dijo que si, uh, uh, hay, si había un hombre. Who came to his friend's house. Quien uh, viene a, a la casa de su amigo. And knocked on the door. Y llamen, uh, llam, uh, llama sobre. La puerta. Late at night. Tim, um, um, tarde Amen. en la noche. And said, I had a friend come. Y dijo, yo tenía un amigo que ha venido. I need three loaves of bread. Necesito tres partes de pan. He said, from inside, in the house. El dijo, del la interior, the man says, I'm in bed. El hombre dice, estoy en cama. My children are with me. Mis, mis hijos están en cama. Right? You know what it says the friend did? ¿Sabe lo que uh, el amigo hace? I need some bread. Necesito pan. But I'm in bed. Pero estoy en cama. The lights are off. 
la, los luces son apagados. My children are in bed Mis with me. Hijos están en cama. I need some bread. Necesito pan. I had somebody come to the house. I need some bread. Tengo una persona en mi casa. Necesito pan. But you don't understand. I'm in bed. Usted no entiende. Estoy en cama. I am asleep. Estoy durmiendo. I need some bread. Necesito pan. My friend came, I need bread. Mi amigo ha venido, necesito pan. And Jesus said, El Señor Jesús dijo, He will not get out of bed El no va a es, uh, um, levantarse because he's his friend. Por causa de su fidel, su, um, su amigo. But because of his persistence. Por, pero, pero, por, me, por causa de su persistencia. He'll get up and give him his bread. Él va a levantarse y dar pan. I may have to ask. Posiblemente tengo que pedir. And be persistent. Y estar persistente. What does that mean? You ask. Usted pida. And you put God in remembrance of his word. Y usted ponga a Dios en recuerdo de su palabra. Lord, you said. Pa padre, usted ha dicho. All my need would be met. Todos mis necesidades. Lord, you said my body would be healed. Dios, usted ha dicho. Lord, you said my family would be saved. Mi, mi cuerpo será sal, uh, sanado. Mi Amen. familia será salvado. And I'm knocking. Estoy llamando. And it's going to be answered. Y va a recibir la respuesta. And let me finish with this. Y déjeme terminar con esto. God asked us to put him in remembrance of his Dios word. Dios nos preguntó ponerle pon Amen. en recuerdo de su so palabra. So it seems Entonces aparece that our receiving que nuestra capacidad de recibir is limited by our asking. Está limitado por medio del nuestro pedir. God can give as big as we can ask. Dios puede dar en línea con nuestra petición. But God will only give. Pero Dios um, solo va dar en línea. To the level of your asking. Al nivel de nuestra petición. Do you see that? If you ask small. Si usted you get pequeña, small. But what if you ask big? Pequeño, pero si usted pide muy grande. Amen. Amen. What if, what if we started asking the Lord to just outright save our children? Nosotros podemos pedir al Señor salvar nuestros hijos. Lord, I, I mean, this year, I want them saved. Señor, yo significa este año. I need them saved this year. Necesito tener ellos salvados este año. Because I don't know how much time we have. Porque no sé tan cuánto tiempo tienes. Because at any moment. Porque en cualquier momento. The rapture of the church can happen. Rapto, el rapto de la iglesia puede hacer. We're there. Estamos en línea. We're there. Estamos aquí. Amen. We need him saved this year. Nosotros necesitamos la salvación de nuestra familia este año. We need you out of debt this year. Necesitamos su libertad de las deudas este año. We need the blessings of God flowing to you this year. Necesitamos las, bendicion, las bendiciones de Dios fluyendo a usted este año. Your body needs to be healed now. Su cuerpo necesita ser sanado a, a, en este momento. In the name of Ahora, Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. So Father, tonight, Padre, esta noche, we make a decision hacemos un, una decisión to ask Pedir. Father, Padre, we're going to look at our lives vamos a investigar nuestras vidas and determine y determinar 
where we need to ask. Donde necesitamos pedir. And Father, y Padre, we're going to ask. Vamos a pedir. We're going to ask for the big things. Vamos a pedir para las cosas grandes. We're not going to limit you any longer. No vamos a limitarle a usted. Tonight, Otro día. we will ask. Esta noche vamos a pedir. And we will receive. Y vamos a recibir. For you said, everyone that asks. Porque usted ha dicho, cualquiera persona que pida. Receives. Recibirá. And asking. Y el pedir is the rule of the kingdom. Es la regla del reino. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Did you receive tonight? Recibe usted esta noche. I believe God. Yo le creo a Dios. I believe God. Yo le creo a Dios. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Quiero bacosol. Hallelujah. Quiero bacocos da bocorre a la ha. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And even this weekend, even this weekend, Answers will come quickly. In, in this body, in other bodies, wherever those that are believing are gathered, answers are coming to issues that have been unresolved for too long. But rather you're gathered here or you're gathered in another assembly, you watch and it will be uncanny how the Holy Spirit does this. There will be some of the same things said to present answers. And even this weekend, from now till this weekend, from now till... Sunday services in this body and in other bodies. Things that have been dragging on for many months and even into years will within three to four days turn around. Wrap up and become a non-issue. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you now so you'll see it. I'm telling you now so you'll see it. And events on the world stage will continue to escalate. Understand, the Lord says, the bear has awakened. And in the past, that nation, symbolized by the bear, has growled and bared its teeth but made no move. Watch, watch over the next months. They're going to begin to take steps and going to begin to make moves because they have not changed. And they have woke up as if poked by a sharp stick. Pray fervently for Jerusalem. Pray fervently for the nation of Israel. For even what you're seeing in the headlines and on the nightly news, the lies and the reports that are painted 
negatively towards my nation and my people. Those things are being instigated behind the scenes by demonic forces. But understand, you're going to see, you're going to see this. That bear is going to begin to instigate things to come against my nation and my people. And ultimately, he's working for his own demise. But it's coming. Don't be fooled by a false sense of peace coming from that nation because it's fake. It's fake. It's fake. And there's real revival coming back to this nation. And it'll not only be in signs and wonders and miracles, but it will be a revival of the Word. Because I said in the book of Ephesians that it was the Word of God. In Ephesians 5, I told you it was my Word that my church would be washed in and that my church would be washed in my Word. And when I returned for my church in the great catching away, the rapture, that that church would be glorious and without spot and without wrinkle. So prepare yourself because in the next coming days that word revival shall begin and it will be on a level of the 70s and the early 80s but it will be even more powerful and more amazing as I begin to work in my church once again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive. I receive. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come here with me real quick. Hallelujah. Just, just put your hand on her shoulder. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, I see that. This weekend, you will receive pieces to things you've been asking the Lord about. And it will impact your home. It will impact the state of things. Hallelujah. Because you've known in your spirit, you've known in your heart, I need to be there. Yes, you do. And I'm going to give you the answers. I'm going to give you the pieces. And this year, this year, in your home, more peace, but more prosperity. Oh, Lord, I'll say it just that way. More prosperity with less effort. And just like the axe head swam, I'm telling you, things that have seemed impossible shall be ordinary and mundane and everyday in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for that. I thank you for that. I thank you for that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's just lift our hands a moment and just thank Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And walk will turn to run. And run will become mount up with wings as eagles. For even those 
I said in my word that have no strength, I'll increase their might. Oh, Lord. Lord, I'll say it just that way. You have entered into the strong years. You have entered into the years of strength. And there will not be a decline. There will be an increase. Increase mentally. Increase physically. Increase in every area. And walk will become run. And run will become mount up with wings as eagles. Your best days are yet ahead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I believe God. I believe God. Hallelujah. And there'll be those that begin to seek you out because of your wisdom. And there'll be those that begin to seek you out because of your relationship with God. And even as you've always witnessed to people and shared the gospel with them, many that you've talked to that have even refused, they're going to come back to you and they're going to say, yes, I want to know. And many have yet to see the wisdom that you harbor within your spirit. But your businesses are becoming a magnet. And they're going to draw people to you. And not only will they bless you financially, it'll enable you to share the faith with them. And not only will you be blessed, many will come into the kingdom because of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Lord, increase the evangelistic gift on his life. Increase the spirit of the evangelist in the name of Jesus. Karabasoka. And Father, I just ask, let the same spirit of faith that resides on my life come on his life. Ha, hallelujah. 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 And your house, your family shall draw even closer. The blessings of God shall begin to be poured out in a greater abundance. A greater measure. A measure that will be outstanding. It will cause tears to come to your eyes. Because of how good God is to you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, let's stand tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you, Lord. Gracias, Padre. We can only say what you've said and nothing more. We thank you for it. Gracias, Padre. We receive it. Recibimos, Señor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, don't forget Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. Hallelujah. Recuerde es los servicios este domingo en a las Dios en la tarde para Amen. los hispanos. God's going to meet us here. Dios va a reunir con nosotros aquí. I believe God. Yo le creo a well, Dios. Let's say the vision of our church, shall Vamos we? A decir la, the decir vision of this church is to build people's faith and frame their world by the word of God. And you and I will always be world changers, 
God bless you. La visión de esta iglesia es construir la fe de mucha gente y enmarcar su mundo con la palabra de Dios. Y tú y yo siempre seremos cambiadores del mundo. Aleluya. Sea bendecidos.